guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl lizzie please if it's your first time of watching my videos please do subscribe i love you all so much and i'm here today to show you how to tie your gilly for any occasion at all this is going to be a very simple and easy gilly, gilly that you can do and easily get away with so with me today is my gilly my ashoki and i'm gonna fold my gilly I'm going to fold the edges so that it doesn't come out rough and then what I'm doing right now is just trying to make about five four pleats so that my gilly can really come out beautiful and my gilly can really look good and I can storm any occasion at all it is that I want to go for so this is really going to be easy and I believe after this class after this tutorial you're you're gonna testify and i'm sure that you're gonna share my video you're also gonna comment you're also gonna like i love you all so much so i'm placing this gilly on my head after making my pleats and you know after doing that you have to make sure that it lies very well on your head and the pleats are straight and not having corny you know rough lines so i've done that and what i did next was to make one side of my gilly short and the other part long so the one by my right hand side is long is short and then the one by my left hand side the way i'm seeing this video now is long so what i'm going to do now is that the longer part goes round my head over to go and meet the short one so that i can easily knot it and so that my gilly will not fall so what i what i just said is the longer part of my gilly which is the part now that i am holding goes to the towards the back of my head to meet with the short one so that i can knot my gilly and so that it can stand perfectly so what i'm doing with the long part of my gilly right now is just forming pleats with this, if you're going to tie your gilly by yourself, you have to make sure that your pleats are very nice and they are straight. Here you have to really be careful so that it gives you very nice round pleats, you know. So you really have to take your time. Sometimes the gilly might unravel, but you still know what to do. You still just have to be careful doing your thing. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking the shorter part of my gilly and then for putting my hand in between the gilly, the way you can see me do right now, just place your hand in between and make sure that you are forming folds so that you can use the edges of your gilly. Take it to the back and notice, not it. So when you fold your hand into, when you put your hand into your gilly like that to make folds, you discover that it, the edges form leaves at the back so that is what you're going to use to knot your gilly behind and then after not knotting it you come back and make sure that your pleats are straight they are nice and your gilly is firm on your head so that even if you're dancing it doesn't fall off so what I'm doing now is just to form round pleats on my head but it doesn't really have to be this very neat infinity pleats you know how we do it when you want to make infinity pleats it has to be precise it really has to lie nicely what I am doing here now is the remaining part of my gilly which is on top of my head I'm just using it to form any place just to make it look nice and beautiful it doesn't have to come out really straight and round you know just make something that looks good so I'm just touching I'm just touching it's just to give me a nice look so when you're making your gilly you discover that towards the back it's it, it doesn't give you a round shape but you know your pins can always work for you at this part at this stage of your gilly what you just have to do do not panic all you have to do is you just go back maybe get some pins and then pin it at the back of your head 
So I'm taking the shorter part of my gilly behind my head and also try, trying to form nice pleats. So the longer part of my gilly, which is in front, formed a round pleat towards the right hand side of my uh, neck. And then this part that I'm holding now is going to form pleat towards the left hand side of my neck. So I'm just trying to arrange my pleats to make them stand. I really didn't edit much in this video because I wanted you all to understand how to make pleats, how to make this type of gilly. It's it's not difficult at all. And that was why I didn't edit, I didn't really cut so many parts. This is just almost like the whole of the video. So I went back to get my pins and then I pinned the long side of my gilly that, that falls behind my neck and also pinned the other side of my gilly that falls at the back of my neck just to give me a round shape, you know, to make it very nice and beautiful. For this particular type of gilly, like I said, you really don't have to do much. Just touch a gilly, you know, make it to have a nice round shape. And then that's really all about it. So guys, I really love you all so much. Please, if you love this video, please subscribe to my channel, um, comment, share. It really helps me a lot. It makes me to know that I am doing um, you guys are understanding and I am doing well. I love you all so much. Please subscribe, like, share my post, and you'll also you'll soon see me with so many other posts. I love you all.